Maria Teen continues her long road to recovery after she was severely injured when she fell from a ride at a Lake Delton amusement park. 15-year-old Tegan Marti suffered brain, spine, pelvis, and internal injuries when she fell 100 feet in 2010. She was initially paralyzed, but through physical therapy, she's able to walk again with a walker. And now, thanks to a generous donation, Marti is getting a four-legged friend to help her, and we're spending the morning with Tegan's companion assistant's dog, Charlie. Emily Deem is live in Fond du Lac with more. Good morning, Em. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. You can say good morning to Charlie for yourself. Good thing she is a morning dog because we got her up really early. We are in the home this morning of Jake Gill. He is a professional dog trainer. Um, Jake, you know, this story has a lot to it, you know, with Tegan and, and how, how you got Charlie. So just kind of give us a little background on how Charlie Sheen is involved, too. Tell me about that. Well, uh, Charlie Sheen donated, as you, as you saw, $10,000 great thing is a small portion of it went for the training and that small portion I'm using for to help more children Tales for Life will be my organization and then the majority of it's going to help Tegan be able to come and see the puppy when she's young hopefully in a month or so and then again towards the end of uh, Charlie's training here. Yeah so you've had Charlie for about a week now she is 10 weeks old what have you been doing so far because she's still a puppy. Yes we want her to be a puppy and still have fun we don't want her expect her to be a robot or anything like that. So right now it's a lot of learning through play. Um, we're doing simple, simple puppy obedience, um, sits and downs and coming when called, of course. And like right now, we're, we normally don't recommend this as trainers, but she's gonna be helping Tegan open doors um, with ropes and stuff. So we're, we're encouraging her to tug a little and then we'll teach her drop it when she needs to stop and let go of the toy as well. And you know, you see a lot of service dogs, therapy dogs, but she's a companion assistance dog. Yes. Um, why f name her that? Well, um, she is uh, going to be a little more advanced than, mm -hmm. a, than a therapy dog. Therapy dogs go into nursing homes and hospitals. Great thing is uh, Tegan's family <laughs> want to do pet therapy with her as well to help other people and then She's going to be more of an assistance dog, similar to what a medical assistant dog would do by helping her, you know, open and close doors, turn on and off light switches, those kinds of things. Um, but she's going to be a little less than a full service dog. So she's kind of in between. And, but the great thing is she's, the training is designed for exactly what Tegan wants. Great. And Judy is here, uh, her breeder, really quick, a golden retriever. Why is this great for Tegan to have a dog like this? Um, they, they have really nice, nice personalities. Um, they're calm, um, a nice, sturdy dog. Um, they're just really nice, nice, well-behaved. And cute, I have to tell you. Mm -hmm. We've been watching her all morning. And she's going to be on the treadmill in the 6 o'clock hour. You won't want to miss her exercise <laughs> oh, this morning. We'll send it back to you for now.